Welcome back to the Budweiser and United States Hot Rod Association Triple Crown of Motorsports. According to Greek mythology, Hercules was a powerful man. Well, in the 1980s in America, Hercules spells out a powerful monster truck, and there's Larry Tura from Warren, Ohio, and Hercules, 1986. Hercules 86 is a $100,000 1985 Ford Ranger, weighs 14,000 pounds, and is powered by a supercharged Ford motor. Now, this is a timed event, Steve. They've got two sets of cars. They've got a set of moguls to go over and two large jumps right at the finish. So this is going to be exciting. Larry's going to nail it right off, gets high and gets going. This young man, short wheelbase truck, watching whip the rear end around. Front and rear steering on him. He lines up for that second set of cars. This is going to be a real critical part of it because they've got to attack those cars square. If they don't, there can be a lot of problems when they go up in the air. Now watch him. He's got it all lined up. He's going to back up and just straighten it out a little bit. Front and rear steering. He's losing a little time, though, here. But boy, what great extension there. Oh, very high up in the air, and he got it up and over the cars very well, but we've still got these moguls in the last jump. Hercules has got some time to make up. He's the first truck out tonight. So what's it going to take? You know, some people think it's going to take a minute plus to run this course and be a winner here What's tonight. That, Let's see what happens with Samson as he gets ready for the finish line. Flagman in place, and here he comes over the last set of jumps. There's Larry Tura in a little difficulty with the suspension as the hood came popping up there momentarily. I tell you what, this is going to be hard on all the suspension and all the drive line of these vehicles tonight. Larry did a great job with the Hercules truck. He was the first man out this evening in this three-way competition and a beautiful job on his part. Well, our unofficial time right now is one minute even for Larry Tura, and here's the way he attacked that second set of automobiles. Steve, watch him. When the front set of tires hits the cars, he'll nail the throttle. The back tires get a hold, shoots the front end up in the air like that, and then all you can do is hold on and ride. What a blow right there to the suspension. A beautiful job. He's right up on top, and that's when he opens the big Ford motor up and heads it towards the finish line. I would think it would be a disadvantage to go first because the cars are at a higher level. Well, this is true, but a lot of the, the monster truck drivers feel like that that's the best time to run. And a little demonstration by Hercules and Larry Tura with a time of one minute even. So it's time to move on, and King Kong now moves into position. The time it must be is one minute even. Jeff Dane is the driver from Colleen, Texas. Well, this is King Kong 3. Jeff has had three of these Kong trucks. This one is a 1986. It's a brand new truck. It's powered by a 460 cubic inch Ford motor. Jeff is a true competitor. When he goes out, he's going to go out as hard as he $150,000 truck, and here again weighs 14,000 pounds. Each tire and wheel weighs about 1,500 pounds, Steve, so a flat beside the road is entirely out of the question. And you probably don't have a spare in your back pocket, I would imagine. You've got that right. Here we go with him. Now he'll line up once again. The time to beat's one minute. Kong will come out and come out hard. Here he goes. Right up on top of him. Watch him. Watch him. Here he goes. Eases off the other end. There's a little jump there. And he nails the truck. Look at there. There's that front rear steering into the second part of the, the course. The second set of cars that he's going to get, ooh, gets it a little bit high and drifts off to the right. Look at the shocks underneath King Kong 3. Lots of shocks, lots of double construction on this vehicle, keeping it strong and heavily built. You know, he's getting along real well in the course right now. The time seems to be going real, real good for King Kong 3. Up over the two sets of moguls, right into the, heads it in towards the finish line area. One. Right to the finish line, we'll be looking for the checkered flag to come out for King Kong 3. There it is. Good run. Good run. And here again, more suspension parts taking a toll on that last jump. That's Jeff Dane in King Kong 3. And our unofficial time with King Kong 3 is 49 seconds. So that would push him into the lead. The official time on Larry Turi is indeed one minute. And there's the official time, 49 seconds. So we have ourselves the new leader but coming up the master of them all bigfoot next
when you talk about pioneers of the sport of monster trucks, you're talking about Bigfoot. Now, Bob Chandler is the owner and the builder, but the driver tonight is Jim Kramer, and he's a good one. Jim Kramer's one of the better of the Bigfoot crew. You know, they value this truck $110,000. It's 11 foot, 4 inches tall. It's 10 foot and a half wide, and it is the best of the best. You know, they come to do battle with two fine, fine, tough trucks, but they're also doing battle with a reputation. They've got a lot on the line, a lot at stake with this supercharged Ford truck. Now, he'll back it up and get ready to go with it. He's got a real tough time of a 49 flat to beat. Kendall May gives him a flag. Kramer waits on nothing over the top. He hangs it hard into that left-hand turn. Watch the people scatter. He's got to line up quickly. Makes a good cut on the road. Up and over. Look out. Oh, my God. Get all the way over. I thought he lost it right there. And he has a tremendous time right now of only 19 seconds, so he has a chance for the championship. Very good chance right now. He heads for the finals. Go around, up and over the jump. Look out. Look out. Ooh. A tremendous ending. Very dramatic, and smoke just billowing from the engine of Jim Cramer's Bigfoot. And the crowd on their feet, giving Jim Cramer and Bigfoot a standing ovation. Needed a parachute to land that one, Steve, as Bigfoot got way high in the air. Hopefully that was maybe a radiator hose or a, a transmission line or something like that. And hopefully nothing severe with Bigfoot. But I'll tell you what, what a dramatic finish to a tremendous night of pulling. Well, Jim Kramer gets out of his vehicle and waves to the crowd who is remaining on their feet and smiles everywhere in this near sellout crowd at Pre River Stadium in Pittsburgh and plenty of excitement and what a way to cap the evening. Well, 29 seconds flat and I'll tell you what, that is a way to top the evening. Let's watch him as he goes over the rerun here, Steve. He leaves hard, flies into the first set of cars, just actually clears the first car and gets into it, jumps off the second one. Now watch the way he works the front and rear tire steering together. People step back out of the way. Jim's made a sweep just right to line up and get in to the second set of cars. But here's where he gets in a little bit of trouble. Lands on the right front, bounces off to the side. But Kramer, being the driver that he is, hammers the truck, lines it up for that first big hill. Look at those tires smash down when this 15,000-pound truck lands on him. Now he's lined up, and we're getting ready for the... The final, the flag, the check, here it is. Look how high Bigfoot, I believe you're going to walk under it, Steve. I believe you're right. With a spectacular ending, Jim Kramer, in 29 seconds, is official now the champion of the monster trucks, Bigfoot and Jim Kramer. We had plenty of excitement here at Three Rivers Stadium tonight, Mike Galloway, and none more than the dramatic finish by this truck, Bigfoot. Bigfoot put the cap on it tonight, and I tell you what, he drove all the horsepower that could be driven out of this monster truck. It's been a truly great evening with a lot of competition. The truck pulls, the tractor pulls, and all of the motocross racing have been excellent here at Three Rivers Stadium. It's been a wonderful United States Hot Rod Association event, and Bigfoot just capped it off with this high-flying finale right here, Steve. When he lands, it's just heads up and hammer down. And the smoke billows from underneath.